Hi, this is Dr. Adrian, MD. This is a short video to introduce you to my osteoporosis treatment plan. I have been very proud of the successes I have had in my female patients who have had osteopenia and osteoporosis. I've had successes, or, or should I say we, the patients and I, have had such dramatic successes that the patients would like to go to newspapers and write, and write um, letters to the editor to make the public known uh, know about the successes they are having in building their bone density back without using any of the uh, typically prescribed medications for osteoporosis. This program involves both diet and involves hormone replacement therapy, which I feel is vitally important for building bones. And, and uh, it includes the, the supplements that I show uh, under my treatment plan and, and under the product section of the osteoporosis uh, section on this website under health concerns. So I'd, I'd encourage you to read that to see what I would tell you to do, uh, a very clear overview of the advice I, I give patients when they come to see me. I have, I've had patients who've had osteoporosis who, uh, while following this program um, you know, uh, diligently, have returned their bones to normal bone density. I have patients who every time we check their DEXA scan, their bone density just keeps going uphill continuously. And the more um, consistent the patient is in taking the supplements and following the program, the more dramatic the results. And this, this again is without any of the medications known as bisphosphonates, which have some serious uh, side of potential side effects. Um, and a quick overview of those side effects would be that they, that they um, essentially poison these cells that cut away old bone. So what happens is that the patient may be maintaining their bone density, which is simply a measure of the shadow uh, that is seen uh, you know, with a weak x-ray, but the, the health of the bone is actually weaker, the bone is more brittle, and they have such side effects, uh, which are we see more and more mentioned uh, online, or even in lectures I've attended, of patients having their jawbone die, or having what's called an atypical femoral fracture. And that means it's atypical because typically the femur, which is the large bone in your thigh, does not break up high at the metaphysis, which is where the bone should be the strongest. But patients taking bisphosphonates are known to have not just one atypical femoral fracture, but two. When the one leg snaps off, the other leg, due to the force on it, snaps off as well. Now to me, to quote a doctor friend of mine, to me this is a clue that maybe this medication is doing something to the bone that is not helpful. Another clue to me is when dentists have come to my, to my office with their wives who are a new patient. And they, they, they tell me strongly, don't even consider putting my wife on a bisphosphonate. I'm a dentist. I know what they do to bone. So dentists are aware of the, uh, the impact these medications can have on procedures such as implants uh, or bone grafts. So my patients do not take any of these proven medications that are typically prescribed by doctors. And they have excellent results in building not only bone density, but building real bone that has real strength. So that's my quick overview on osteoporosis. Thanks for tuning in to Dr. Adrian's website today. And uh, we hope to see you someday as a patient.